Last month, I visited my family back in the East. And my mom gave me this. So I thought, what will I do with this? Then I said, I'm going to cook this. That's Jello fries. So today we're going to be cooking Jello fries. Welcome to another episode of my cooking channel, like father, like son. I'm your local chef, Vine Inogo. Today, I'll be cooking jello fries with this. I told you on my way back, I went into the shopping mall and I saw this item. Out of curiosity, I'm like, oh, can we use it to do jello fries like they said? Okay, so we'll be doing it today. First of all, this is not a paid advert for tasty talk. Also, I don't know how the outcome of this jello fries will be using this particular product. So I'm doing it for the first time. What do we need for this jello fries? We need the rice. For this, I'll be using the foreign long grain rice. We'll need the protein. For this one, I'm using the meat my mom gave to me. We'll also need the jello mix. In case you don't have jello mix, you can use tomato paste of any brand. We'll need some onions. We'll need pepper. Some people use fresh pepper, but for this one, I'll be using the Cameroon dried pepper because I want it to be very hot and spicy. We also need some spices and uh, mixed vegetable. And finally, we will need vegetable oil. In case you missed the previous episode of my last cooking, you can check the link below or the comment section for it. For this week, I said we'll be cooking jello fries. So let's dive in into the cooking immediately. First thing is to wash our rice and sieve out the water. You can also choose to parboil it and sieve out the water. Following the instruction on the jello mix, it says I should add some oil and heat it up, then add the paste into it for some minutes, allow it to fry. After that, add some water, add other seasoning and spices, then add the rice and allow it to cook. We are going to follow this instruction but not dedicatedly because I have some things in my head to do. One interesting thing about making jello fries is that it's similar to making stew. So the first step is preparing the stew, then when you have the stew ready, then you add the rice. So I'm going to add the protein into the stew and allow it to boil so that the meat can be soft to a level for my teeth to consume it. Also to allow the nutrients in the stew to enter and permeate inside the meat. Then after that I'm going to remove the meat from the stew to enable me have space for the rice.
add the rice to the stew and allow it to boil for some minutes and when it's fully cooked then mix it up properly to allow the ingredients to permeate everywhere then our jollof rice is ready one thing to note is that you have to check the water level so that it can be enough or not too much for the rice Our jollof rice is ready. Now I'm going to add the mixed vegetables and then serve. Ready to eat. Come and join me. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something and I expect you to go and do your own cooking and show us so we can comment and like. I beg you all to subscribe to this channel. Next week I'll be bringing you another interesting video of another recipe. Tell your friends, tell everybody to subscribe please. See you some other time.